Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for a very special kind of shave review video. We wanted to go to a big box store and see what kind of products you can find on the grocery store or the big box store shelf that can give you a decent quality shave as kind of a soft intro. What if you are wanting to go down this rabbit hole? What if you wanna have this double edge shaving experience, but you're afraid to buy something online, you wanna to touch it, see it, feel it before you buy it? I gotta tell you, this aisle looks nothing like it did a few years ago. But a few years ago, all you saw was Gillette and Chick and maybe a few others, but now there's, there's choices, there's options, there's products, there's metal safety razors, like more than one. Look at this, we got, we got options here. We got double-edged blades here. So we're gonna see what we can put together for 50 bucks. For $50, I'm gonna have to let the Vander hang in. It's already got some blades in there. I'm only using $21 of my budget here. Shave cream. Well, it says that it's going to cushion my shave and condition my skin. Aloe and eucalyptus. And this is where it's at. It's $8. 28. Well, I really want to go for this bevel brush, but for $30, I think it's too much with my $50 budget. So we'll have to skip that one. We're going to prime the oil, and then we're going to go with the Nivea post shave balm, sensitive cool or soothing sensitive. What's the difference here? I like the blue packaging better, so I'm probably just going to pick that. All right, I think you're looking at it, guys. That's our kit, right around 50 bucks. Let's go. Thank you. We've spent $50, okay, and what exactly can you buy? So here are some of the products I picked up. We have, for our razor, we have a Vanderhagen double edge razor with blades included. For our pre-shave product, we have a bevel shaving oil. For our shaving cream, we have the Harry's shave cream. And for our aftershave product, we have the Nivea for sensitive skin aftershave balm. So these are all things you can buy right in your hometown, more than likely, if they have a target, right? And we're going to find out how good of a shave can you get. Does it compare to buying, you know, fancy double-edged razors and fancy English shaving creams? How does it stack up? Let's find out right now. I think it's been a day and a half since I shaved last, so not... Not a whole lot of stubble, but I have been shaving more regularly, so my stubble has been definitely more coarse. So I'm just trying to do baseline prep that I would do for any other kind of shave here in studio, right? Uh, but I, I wanted to film our, our shave prep. Usually you guys see a cut down of me talking and doing a shave prep, but since these are new products, I really want to talk about them as we're prepping them. Okay, so we're going to get started with the Bevel pre-shave oil. I'm usually not a fan of pre-shave products, but I have seen this Bevel on the market and I've wanted to try it. And uh, Bevel is a product that has come out in the last couple years. It's supposed to be designed for African-American guys to shave with, as I've heard, but I'm not, that's okay. I, I, I think that it doesn't matter what kind of skin you have, as long as it's a good product, it really should help out. The directions here say, 
Use this pre-shave oil as a protective layer to help guard against bumps, nicks, and tugs. This signature blend of oil coats that, and softens hair for your best shave. Okay, well let's try it out. Again, I'm usually not someone who likes oils. It's been actually quite a long time, so th this will be kind of a new experience for me. So I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm sure the directions say, yeah. Uh, massage a nickel-sized amount into wet skin and hair. Let this absorb slowly before applying the shave cream. Okay, so a nickel amount. That looks like a nickel. All right, let's try it. it smells good. Definitely feels oily. <laughs> nice and slick, put a little oil slick on my, my skin. Smell reminds me kind of citrusy. Yeah, like a, like a grapefruit. That's what I'm getting. Okay, I'm glistening now with my bevel pre-shave. So we're gonna go right over to the Harry's shave cream again. Harry's has you know, come up in the shaving world recently. They bought that uh, cartridge manufacturing plant in Germany, and then they've put out a whole line of you know, cartridge razors and now skincare now. And you used to be had to buy it online. Now you can buy it in the store. This says that it's crafted with thoughtful ingredients like eucalyptus, our shave cream cushions your shave. To use, apply in a circular motion. For extra comfort, let's sit five minutes. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. Uh, my experience has been that sit, letting stuff sit on your face just dries it out. So it doesn't say to mix it with water. It's supposed to be a shave cream. I, I'm gonna just start with, uh, maybe that's a lot, but I'm gonna start with, with that. And I am going to, I'm just gonna mix it with some water. Just, Super slick. I feel like I got whipped cream on my face. This is not something I'm used to doing. But, you know, I haven't rubbed shaving cream on my face for a long time. It's not really foaming up, but it definitely feels slick. Between the oil and the Shave cream, we'll see what kind of protection we have. So far, it's making me a little scared, I gotta be honest. I'm scared. <laughs> it's hard to get off my hands. My hands are just still slippery. Okay, yeah, I definitely feel like a fish out of water with, with a product like this as opposed to like a soap with a brush, but this was the challenge, guys. This was the Target $50 challenge, so let's try it out. Um, while this is sitting for a few moments, we'll open up our safety razor. We picked out the only, well, not the only, I think there's actually another, I think Bevel has a safety razor on the aisle too, um, but, you know, excited to pick out a metal safety razor at a, at a store shelf like Target, right? So it looks a lot like a flare tip super speed from Gillette. It's pretty much patterned exactly off that. These are made in China by a company called Weishi, and it's been branded under many different brand names. Back in the day, they had that Pawn Stars guy was selling the same razor, the one touch razor, whatever. But it's a, I think it's made of brass and it's chrome plated. It's a butterfly razor, so it fit the budget. I think it was like 20 bucks. Look at the receipt. Yeah. $20.99. Okay, and uh, these are supposed to be some German blades here. Let's try it out. So I'm going to drop one of these double edged blades into my Vanderhagen. Made in Germany. Ice tempered stainless steel. That's that's gotta sound. Uh, that sounds fancy. And again, as awkward as this feels for me to start shaving, because this looks like a pre-shave, I'm I'm gonna go with it, guys. For you, for you, I'm doing this. <laughs> now let's try it out. Okay. Not too shabby. Actually, um, 
Good amount of slickness. I would say it's slick, but I wouldn't say it's cushy. And maybe that's just me being biased, but it's just my kind of initial feedback. It's like the lubrication's there, but that cushiony kind of like pillow I'm used to on my face is not there. But the I, I have used this uh, Wishi style, Vanderhagen style DE razor years ago on another video. And it's a very mild razor. So I'm, another reason I kind of picked this is that uh, when in doubt, go mild, right? If you're using unfamiliar products, let's say, let's say you were in the same predicament I was in, all right? Say you went on a business trip and you forgot your, you know, your shaving stuff, or they lost airlines lost your bag, and you've got to go into an unfamiliar city and go, you know, try to get some products for that big, because you got a big meeting, a big uh, presentation tomorrow, whatever. I would say go safe and get a product like this. They may not be the closest, but at least you're not going to worry about crazy irritation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just not giving me the close shave I'm used to getting. But um, it's taking the stubble down. I'm having to go over the areas multiple times. What can I say? I've been spoiled. Been pampered using nice stuff for so long. The bevel oil, I do like the scent. I like the, the kind of the slick texture that it's adding, but as I always remember, shaving oils just clog up your head. So I'm looking and I'm just noticing clogged hair stuck on my razor. That's one reason I just don't really like oils too much. But man, it, it's been a long time since I haven't used a brush. And I know why I use brushes because the quality of the lather is not even comparable. I think that this razor, you know, paired with a brush would really make all the world a difference. In fact, I'm just gonna try it guys, just for comparisons. And this, I'm going off script. This was not part of the shoot. Don't shut me down, guys. Don't shut me down. <laughs> I reached over here to my, my trusty razor and pouring badger brush. I just want to see if we take this product, let's do a little experimentation, and we throw some into a brush, will it lather? I think of that, um, that show about making knives, and that guy always says, it will cut. <laughs> will it lather? I just want to see if we take this, is the brush the magic and we just, or is it the product is the magic and we just swirl it around. Will it actually lather up? I mean a little bit better. It's not the lather I'm used to. There's no peaks guys. There's no peaks. There's no cushion. Yeah. Hopefully that uh, doesn't throw off our results too much. I just wanted to see if you added a brush, will it, you know, because that's out of our budget, but will it change? And it really didn't change. So I think it's the formulation of the soap just has to be there or not for um, making a nice lather. But it may not look better, but it actually did perform better. Um, you know, think about what a, a brush does is it's, it's wet and it's, it's literally kind of your mixing uh, agent. It's helping mix and, and mix lather and water together and build a better lather, right? So this side actually was easier and slicker to shave than my other side.
in a super mild and as unscientific as it was to throw the brush, I'm glad I did. You always wonder, guys, right? And part of my job is to do these experiments that you guys don't want to do, <laughs> or you, you hope I would do. Yeah, man, especially on my goatee area where it's super thick. This is like taking a weed whacker to the lawn. It's just wrong tool. But our premise of your gateway into double-edged shaving, of wanting to have a super tight budget, pick out stuff in store, your gateway to double-edge. So if this was your first experience, you were trying to make the transition or try it out, I think you'd have a, a decent idea, but um, that's kind of like saying if it's your first time eating beef or you want a steak and you can have a cheeseburger instead, it's a good comparison. Maybe some of the flavors are there, some of the textures there, but um, having a cheeseburger and having a nice steak are two very different things, right? And shaving with these products and shaving with the stuff I'm used to, and I'm not even super fancy. Like, you know, guys know, Parasso I can shave with and have a great shave. A Gillette Super Speed, you know, some, some decent blades, you know, Astro Blades are fine. Um, I'd be happy. But the biggest thing for me was the lather, just that, that Harry's product, um, not dishing on Harry's, it's just. It's just nowhere near the quality of lather that I'm used to getting. So, but I, hey, guess what? I didn't cut myself, my stubble's gone. And if, again, if I was trying this out for the first time or I was stuck in a city and I didn't have my luggage with me, I would probably be able to make do with this. We're gonna finish up with a product that I did use many, many moons ago and I am familiar with. And I think it's probably a, a good product. Let's see if it's, it's the same as I remember. Uh, the Nivea Men Sensitive Cool Cooling post-shave balm. Cooling? Does that have menthol? Cool skin and fights five signs of shaving and irritation. Burning, microcuts, dryness, tightness, and stubble itch. Man, if you're having all those signs, you should be thinking about what products you're using beforehand that's causing all that. I'm just trying to see if there's menthol in here. Here we go. There's a bunch of... There's an isopropyl product. Menthooxoprophopanidyl. So menthol something, maybe synthetic menthol. I don't know. Let's put it on. Yeah, it's that old familiar feel of Nivea. I, I did I did use this back in the day, and in a pinch, if I was you know in the same predicament where I needed to pick up something at the store, I'd pick this up again. This is a good product. Feels nice, does make my, my skin feel super moisturized, tender. <sighs> well, I hope that today's shave opened some eyes, we opened some boxes, 50 bucks, um, you know, in the right circumstance, like I've said, I think this, this would be some, a decent shave. But if you wanted to really go down the path of trying out Double Edge, I think shopping on Amazon or on our site or another reputable shaving website, I think your $50 could go further um, in terms of getting some decent products. Even if you spent a few bucks on an Arco shaving stick or a Chella, you know, it's very inexpensive, you know, five, six bucks for a tub of Chella, I think they'd be better than this. For a pre-shave product, again, buying even a decent pre-shave product like the Parasso in the, in the little white tub, I think it'd be better than this. Cause again, I spent on that bevel product, that was actually $13. So, um, you know, I know I'm not a fan of oils and stuff, but that just, just wasn't there for me. The razor, you know, this would maybe make a good shower razor if you need to do some manscaping or your wife wanted to, or girlfriend, whoever wanted to maybe shave the pits or something, maybe that'd be good for this. But going through a lot of coarse hair, 
um, a lot of stubble. And this was only a day and a half. If I had three or four days of stubble, I would have been here forever. So super, super mild, which maybe for beginners is a decent thing. You don't scare them too much with a um, aggressive razor. I'm looking at the blade gap. The blade gap's not even perfect. Um, 20 bucks. I think spend another five or six dollars and buy a, a Parker would be, I think, a better choice than, than this uh, Vanderhagen. But again, you have to buy a Parker from a website like ours. Um, yeah, I think that my favorite product in this whole mix was the Nivea. I'd buy this again. And at our price of six dollars, that's a great bargain. For an aftershave balm of this quality, I would totally pack that in a bag and go traveling with it or, you know, put it in my guest bathroom or whatever. That's a great product. So I'm really happy with the Nivea. The rest, B minus C. Uh, that's all I got from you. If you were at the aisle in Target, what would you have bought instead? Should I have picked up a different product? I was trying to get a wide gamut here. If you were going to go to Target and pick out something, tell me in the comments below what I should have got. Tell me what is a better product option at Target. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this. The official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends out there in the world of wet shaving. Uh, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.